This is a short video on the modifications to the trailer to solo load my 24 foot Norwest freighter canoe. It starts with the side box halfway back. These are not for supporting the canoe. These are just for guiding it. Uh, as you pull a trailer out, this centers the canoe and keeps it uh, centered over the trailer. And then I'll describe what's going on up at the bow here. You see the green guides, the V guides. Uh, it, when you drive the canoe onto the trailer, you just point the bow between the V guides. And if you're anywhere near straight, that will, will uh, bring the canoe in between the side bunks and you'll be perfectly lined up. Then the bow will come in over the roller against the bumper. I'm using a chain come along here to uh, tension it. The uh, chain come along is easy to reach from the bow so I can solo load it and it's uh, easily enough uh, to get the canoe drawn up and snug. Uh, there's also a safety cable on it. Uh, this strap here is on a second ring that I added and this holds the bow down because otherwise the um, it's the trailer flexes and the canoe bounces when you hit bumps uh, it'll separate a little bit and so with this strap it holds the canoe to the trailer so they they hold each other together and support each other and then this strap here is just a backstay it's like a guy cable um, and it supports the post because otherwise the tension here would try to flex the post forward. So this keeps the post from flexing forward. And that's it. So it's a really simple arrangement. I can drive the canoe right onto the trailer, uh, walk up to the bow, uh, attach this, take a little bit of tension, pull it out of the water. The canoe will fall right into the side guides and real set. You just need to put the various, uh, you know, the straps on the stern and so forth. You're ready to go.